Hello friends, in this session we are going to discuss about the drip irrigation system. In the last session we discussed about the sprinkler irrigation system where the application of the water from the nozzle in the form of rain drop. The drip irrigation system, pressurized irrigation system where the water will apply in the slow manner at the directly on the plant root at low pressure that is the zero atmospheric pressure through the emitters. In the sprinkler we will use the water application by nozzle or sprinkler but here we call the emitter. Video you can see here the water is coming through lateral by mean of drop by drop. Some also called as a micro irrigation system or trickle irrigation or localized irrigation or also called low volume irrigation or low flow irrigation because we will control over the flow of your irrigation. In 1940s the Simcha Bloss Israel engineer coined this drip irrigation system. Let us see the major advantage of drip irrigation system. The water is directly applied to the root zone of your crop. Hence the deep percolation, surface runoff are minimized. So the higher application efficiency. The application efficiency may be up to 90 to 95 percent. And it also use like your sprinkler irrigation system like steep slope, irregular areas or uh, topographic area. The system also be used. And it will save the water up to 30 to 50 percent labor. 50% and enhance the fertilizer application efficiency that is the 30 to 40 percentage and this well suitable for the saline water poor quality of the water we can also apply uh, use the system where the water is the saline or poor quality water and it is suitable for all the soils whereas the sprinkler is suitable for only sandy soil and not suitable for the clay soil but this drip system is suitable for all type of soils and suitable for all crops, coconut, grapes, banana and all other crops it will be suitable. And along the irrigation system you can also apply the fertilizers, herbicides, okay that is called your automation. Okay through this we can use the fertilizer chemicals like in sprinkler system. And soil moisture always maintain it near the field capacity by using your drip system. Water applying at the only plants or root zone so the water will move here only. So they, in other condition, in other areas we are not applying. So the weed control can be possible. So reduce the evaporation and salt concentration in the wood zone also be minimized. And control over the disease and pests and adaptability application for the mulches and no soil erosion. We can also use it in this type of irrigation where we are using the mulches and where the soil erosion problem is there. In that condition also the drip system is mostly suitable. The major limitation of the drip irrigation system is the clogging of your emitters. In this picture, if you are not maintained properly, so the clogging of these emitters are we call drippers that there may be chances are there. And the root will penetrate into the holes of your dripper as shown in this picture. So this is the complete blocking and this is the partial blocking of your emitter and salt accumulation at the root zone periphery because we are applying the water continuously when the wetting pattern is increases the salt will move upside so in this condition at the top surface we can see the salt accumulation in the soil and damage of the laterals emitters from the rodent and other animals restricted root develop water will apply only for the at the root so that the root will not move in longer distance or deeper so there is a root restriction development also be possible the high initial cost and skilled labor is required and this type of drip system is not suitable for the rice and wheat and microclimate cannot be controlled let's see the components of the drip irrigation system the drip system consists of your water source which may be the surface water or ground water the pump that may be centrifugal pump or submersible pump and it also consists of overhead tank. So in this condition, we will not use any pump. The directly the water will go to main, submain, and laterals through filters. And control head, relief wall, regulators, check walls, pressure gauge, vacuum gauge, all the other accessories as shown in this picture. And filtration unit that may be consist of your gravel filter, sand filter, screen filter, or disc filter, and fertigation system, venture meter or fertilizer tanks, and water distribution network. Main line, submain line. The pumping unit this pumps the water from the source. Okay, that will water most filter. Uh, here you can have the bypass of all that is called your non written wall. From this, we can water will move to your hydrocyclone filter. Okay, this will filter the sand and it will go to the, your sand filter. The remaining filter may be possible through the sand filter and additional equipment like your fertilizer equipment uh, system is there that may be venture meter fertilizer tank. From that fertilizer tank, the water will go to a screen filter, or disc filter, anything, and from that. The water will go to your main, submain, and laterals. And this on the submain line and main line, there is a non written wall also be used to control the flow. And from that, water will go to your all laterals throughout your field. And the water will move or come out from this drip system by drop by drop. 
at the root zone of your plant so we can manage your all nutrition and fertilizers these are the components of your drip irrigation system water source pumping unit and distributing unit fertilizer applicators like your venturi and fertilizer tank pressure regulator wall flow control wall non return wall vacuum release wall air release wall take off wall so the major purpose of the all components given here and you can also see in the sprinkler irrigation system same thing i explained there and pressure gauge vacuum gauge water meter and debris screen so where you are using the surface water to avoid the free uh, sand or trash any weeds we will use the uh, screen okay, so that it will avoid the all debris and allows only fresh water to your pump pumping unit is used to lift the water from source and convey it to the field through various essential components bypass mechanism is used to adjust the flow and pressure of the system water is filtered through hydrocyclone filter or sand separator to remove the sand particles sand filter traps the vegetative matter and algae fertilizer tank is used to inject the fertilizer into the irrigation line screen filter removes the fine particles like silt and clay particles air release valve removes the air vacuum from the pipeline by the network of main line sub main line and laterals water is distributed uniformly over the field the laterals are spaced as per the crop geometry and water is distributed uniformly into the root zone as per the crop water requirement optimum and slow application of water and fertilizer enhances the crop yield improves the quality higher income of the farmers and ensures more crop per drop